Welcome to the Nicholas Lemnex 12 technology. Today we're looking at the Xilence Modular Series 1000 Watt R3 80 plus bronze certified power supply. It really doesn't cost very much for a 1000 watt PSU. This review will be quite interesting, I believe. Before I move on, I'd like to thank Xilence for providing me this product. The box. Once again, we're looking at the Xilence power supply. This is the 1000 watt model from the modular series and it's 80 plus bronze certified so you'll get to see better efficiency here. On the back is some important information on the cables as well as power specifications to which we will get a little bit later. But now let's open this box up and see what's inside. Right on top is the Xilence warranty extension card that basically tells you to register online for the full 3 years of product warranty. Then we have some form here that protects the PSU while being shipped. In the black attached box are the needed cables and accessories. As you can see, there are a lot of them. Xilence of course also includes a power cord as well as four black screws to mount the power supply into the case. And now to the PSU itself. As you can see, the case of it looks pretty good, at least it does for me. It has some kind of brushed bronze or nickel finish to it, which I like a lot actually. On both sides there are ventilation holes, not just the ones on the back. Again, this PCU is 80 plus bronze certified and there are the specifications. Obviously the XP1000 comes with 6 plus 12 volt rails, 4 of them offer 20 amps and 2 33 amps. On the back is a standard power switch and of course the power connection where you plug in your power cord. Although on the back the PCU is labeled for a 230 volt AC input, according to Xilence it should be 110 to 240 volts, which we also saw on the specifications table. So you should be able to use this unit worldwide. On this side you clearly see we're not talking about a fully modular power supply. The 24 pin, the 4 plus 4 and the 8 pin power connections are needed in most cases anyways. Well maybe they could have made one EPS 12 volt cable modular as well because most motherboards only require a 4 or 8 pin 12 volt connection together with the 24 pin of course. Everything is labeled very nicely so you really can't go wrong where to plug the cables in. And even on the cables itself, the ends are labeled. The red ports as always stand for the PCI Express connections. To keep this unit cool, a nice big 135mm fan is used here, which on the first sight looks cheap, but later on I noticed the quality isn't bad at all. As for the cable length, these cables certainly are not the longest, but then again, you don't need super long ones anyways. I can tell you, you should have no problems even in big towers. Of course this is always depending on the case. But now to the actual connections. Attached to the power supply is the 20 plus 4 pin power connector. This 8 pin EPS 12 volt connector as well as this 4 plus 4 pin EPS 12 volt power connector. You get a total of 3 SATA cables. On each cable there are 4 connectors, which result in a total of 12 SATA connectors on this PCU. Not bad actually. As for Molex, you get only 2 cables with a total of only 6 Molex connectors. For a 1000W PCU, I'd expect to see more here. And then these 2 cables are a total of 2 flop connectors, which is okay. You mostly don't need more than 2 of these. Then of course the PCI Express cables, 4 of these. You get 4 6 plus 2 pin PCIe connectors here as well as 2 6 pin PCIe connectors. Xilence also includes 2 more cables. Now this is what not everyone does actually. Both cables plug in directly into the PSU. One of them allows you to monitor the fan speed of the power supply fan if you plug that cable into one of your motherboard's fan headers. The second cable is a lot more useful. This pretty much is a fan splitter. You plug the cable into the PCU, which then can power up to 3 fans. I love this feature and I'm glad Xilence has thought of something like that, since I personally have needed something like that quite often already. 
and it's all included. You don't have to buy any fan splitters that way, unless you of course need to connect more than 3 fans. But before we move on, I'll repeat the offered connectors for you. 120 plus 4 pin connector, 14 plus 4 pin EPS 12 volt, as well as 18 pin EPS 12 volt connector, 4 6 plus 2 pin PCIe connectors, 2 6 pin PCIe connectors, 12 SATA connectors, 6 Molex connectors, and last but not least, 2 floppy connectors. Alright, now before we take a look at the basic performance of this PCU, here are the specifications. The Xilens Modular Series 1000W R3 power supply should offer 1000 watts of power and is 80 plus bronze certified. To keep the unit cool, a 135mm fan is used. This PCU of course comes with active PFC, so power factor correction, and allows an input of 110 to 240 volts. The DC output. Well, as you can see, this power supply comes with a total of 6 plus 12 volt rails. Rail 1, 2, 4 and 5 offer 20 amps and rail 3 and 6 offer 33 amps. The plus 3.3 and plus 5 volt rails both offer 28 amps. When it comes to the voltage, I really can't complain. As you can see, 12.17 volts on the plus 12 volt rail. 5.3 volts on the plus 5 volt rail and 3.43 volts on the plus 3.3 volt rail. On the minus 12 volt rail, we get minus 12.01 volts. So I really can't complain about the voltage here. Even on load, the voltage doesn't change that much and that's good. Of course, I also take a look at the interior and the used components. I have to be honest, these definitely are not the greatest and therefore not meant for the enthusiasts. But for the average consumer it should do very well, especially at this price point. The Xilens Modular Series 1000W R3 power supply seems to be an okay PCU. The component tray inside doesn't really impress me to be honest, but for the average consumer, as I've said before already, it should be good enough. It's 80 plus bronze certified, so that definitely helps with efficiency. The quality of the fan is very good and the unit is very silent. It's modular and comes with lots of cables. However, I would have liked to see more PCI Express cables for a 1000 watt PCU, 6 plus 2 pin one specifically. The sleeving is good, I mean it could have been a little bit better, but all in all, it's good. What really impresses me is the fact that Xilens includes a cable that allows you to power up to 3 fans directly from the PCU via fan connectors, not Molex. The power supply comes in a standard PCU casing, but has that nice brushed bronze or nickel finish to it, which I really like. Pros are good looking, the PCU is very silent, comes with nylon braided cables, has the option to power up to 3 fans directly from the PCU via fan connectors, and last but not least, it's 80 plus bronze certified. For the cons, I have to say, this power supply is not very suitable for enthusiasts due to the inner components that are used. And unfortunately, there are not enough PCI Express 6 plus 2 pin cables for a 1000 watt PCU. Therefore, I give this Xilens Modular Series 1000 watt R3 power supply a 6 out of 10, and once again, it'll do just fine for an average consumer 1000 watt power supply. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.